The MDA is homophobic. Why like that? So what is the MDA? The MDA is the Media Development Authority in Singapore. It's kind of ironic. They call themselves the Media Development Authority when in actuality, they are more or less the government body that just censors the shit out of everything. So recently, Jolene Tsai's song, We Are All Different Yet The Same, got banned by the MDA for having homosexual elements in it because it was a song about two lesbians. Why is the MDA so homophobic? Because this isn't the first time that such things has happened. Uh, the MDA actually did ban an Archie's comic book because it had a gay marriage in it. There was this X-Men comic book as well that had a gay marriage in it but the MDA was fine with it because it said it had balanced views and opinions because there was homophobic elements in it. It's okay to show homosexual content as long as there's homophobic elements in it as well. It seems a little bit weird, doesn't it? Having such a ban is really stupid and banning a song like that is stupid. You can't ban every song out there that contains elements of homosexuality. The song by Katy Perry, I Kissed a Girl and I Like It, was allowed to air on radios in Singapore. There's a whole bunch of other songs like that too. Uh, I'm not gonna teach your boyfriend how to dance with you. All the things she said by Tattoo, you know, there's so many songs that contain homosexual elements to it that are allowed to, you know, be heard in Singapore, probably because the MDA doesn't know about it. But the point is, you can't ban everything from books to songs, radio, film, videos, TV, everything that contains a hint of homosexuality in it. You can't do that, you know, it's just not possible. It seems like the MDA has no idea what they are doing. So like a few days ago, I, I went for, you know, YouTube fan fest and it was kind of interesting because they had this panel of people talking and on that panel, there was someone from the MDA. And I find it a little bit weird because YouTube is this wonderful, awesome platform for people to voice out different opinions, you know, show cool films, you know, nice music, for people just to express themselves. Yet, they have a very, very good community standard for what is acceptable and what isn't. Whereas MDA is just, pfft, no, gay cannot. You know, like on YouTube, I am allowed to kiss a guy and upload that on a video, it's okay. But for, you know, the MDA standards, on, in case you guys didn't know, that you're not allowed to show people of the same sex kissing on TV or film, uh, I'm guessing even pictures, in Singapore, it's just not allowed and they will cut those scenes. Even things like people having a threesome or like polyamory, um, recently the Wolf of Wall Street, the MDA cut out the threesome scene, although it was like, you know, what, rated um, M18 or R21, it's basically not for kids to go in there, but you can see it. Grown adults can't even see things like that. Quite frankly, in my opinion, I would say no, the MDA has no idea what they are doing and it's not their fault. You know, if I want to ask the MDA why like that, why the MDA homophobic, I will need to ask the government why like that. Because this is a trickle down effect that actually starts from the government. Okay, because 377A, the law that forbids grown adults, grown men from having anal sex with each other, it's still illegal in Singapore, that law still exists. And every time it gets appealed, the government just says, um, yeah, we know that law is like there, but like, uh, we're, we're not gonna enforce it, like, yeah. And the thing is, you can't do that if you're the government, you can't maintain a neutral stance. If I ask the everyday Singaporean, hey, what do you think about homosexuality? Are you for or against it? Do you support it or are you like, you know, dead set against it because you're homophobic? You know, and every Singapore can just give an answer, um, I don't know. Like, I don't know, I, I don't really have a strong opinion on it. And it's okay, but for the government, it's not okay. It's a law, it's a law where you could go to jail for it. That's what laws are, and laws should be taken serious. So if there is a law that criminalizes anal sex between grown consenting men, and the government doesn't want to enforce it, then that law should not exist. Why do you have a law that you are not going to enforce? It doesn't make sense. And because the government doesn't have a very clear stance on homosexuality, it trickles down to the MDA who don't know how to properly enforce censorship standards. And it will trickle down to the average everyday people like Christians and Muslims and other people who don't know what is acceptable behaviour and what isn't. And I'm not just attacking you know, Christians or Muslims or anything, but this has to be said, if you are being homophobic in the name of religion, then that is wrong. I don't care if I'm wounding or hurting your feelings towards your religion. Homophobia should not 
be tolerated, even more so in the name of religion. You have pastors going around telling their flock, you know, to Hey, okay, yeah, you guys need to go and unlike, dislike the videos that you see, you know, we have to fight and push it as much as we can. And the thing is, yes, you guys have the right to do it, but, you know, come on, it's just not really cool and such behavior should not be tolerated when you have going out of their way to be homophobic, you know, things like that should just not be tolerated. They are going to the Pink Dot uh, video, you know, just unliking it, you know, commenting it like, hey, this is a sin and everything like that, being gay is an abomination. And the thing is, Look, such behavior also trickles down. It trickles down to other people as well. You know, what you Christians are doing, what you Muslims are doing, what you know, you religious people are doing, has an effect. The pastors are not just outright going around beating up people who are gay. But guess what? Things like that does happen in Singapore. I have a friend who is lesbian, okay, and she has, she was going out with her group of friends. You know, they are they are all lesbian in, in their group, okay. Some random Malay guy just walks up to her saying, you know, hey, I don't like people like you. Just punches her in the face. And, and like, you know, walks away. See, such things should not be tolerated. And yeah, the government will tell you, Yo, but they can say assault, what? If right now, I were to go and punch a Christian and say, Hey, I hate people like you, I hate Christians, I will give him a punch, okay? I will get charged for assault as well as for wounding the feelings of, like, religious people. And it's not fair. The LGBTQA community, they are a group that, they are a minority group that are being marginalised, that are being treated differently in Singapore. The trickle down effect, you know, the government doesn't want to have a clear sense on it, MDA doesn't know what to do, the government bodies, you know, MDA and stuff like that doesn't know what to do with it, then you have religious organisations going around just, you know, saying, hey, being gay is a sin, it's an abomination, it shouldn't be allowed. Gay people get assaulted on the streets once in a while and stuff like that. I'm not saying that everyday occurrence, but it does happen. It does happen in a country like Singapore, especially when we are a country that talks so much about tolerance in our pledge, you know, regardless of race, language or religion but don't tolerate things like homosexuality it's just wrong look, it's okay if you don't support homosexuality it's, it's totally fine, it's okay you know, if you don't like homosexuality then you just don't engage in it you know, if you don't like people being gay then you just don't be gay yourself look, when they are fighting for equal rights when they are fighting for the right to get married to the people that they love the right to just be able to hold hands the right to be represented in media that doesn't portray them they are not offending your views they are fighting for the right to live like a normal person and I think it's about time the government grows a pair of balls and just goes you know, yes we're gonna allow um, you know people who are gay to live freely in Singapore or go, no, we're gonna ban it outright so you guys just get out of the country. Okay, being on the fence doesn't work, especially when you're the government. The government should not be on the fence when it comes to topic like this. Okay, so to the Singapore government, uh, you know, I just want to say why like that. Okay, it's about time you guys made a decision and, you know, stop copping out because it is affecting people, it's, it is affecting your citizens and to people who are gay, it is a very real thing that is affecting them daily. So it's about time the Singapore government does something about it. So yeah, like, share, subscribe. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think that the government should do something about it? Do you think the government has an okay stance about it? What do you guys think about um, homosexuality? You know, what do you guys think about what I just said? And I know I'm gonna get a lot of Christians just systematically commenting on it. So go ahead, whatever. Mm, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.